What's up guys, Sam I'm back with another review. Today we're taking a look, it's been a while since I've reviewed a Gremlin figure. Now I believe this is a Target exclusive. We're taking a look at the Spend a Merry Christmas with Gremlins. So the side of the packaging has Gremlins right there and it says Ultimate Santa Stripe and Gizmo. On the back you have some really cool images of the characters and you know different ways you can pose them and let's see what else it says it's got a little bit of a of a description right there and this is this special edition figure is a homage to the imaginative newspaper ad campaign used to promote the film during its smash hit theatrical run in 1984 so it's basically a homage figure that's pretty awesome i love the artwork on the front though this is something i definitely want to save this is just an awesome awesome artwork i'm going to cut this off and then just freaking pin it somewhere um you open this up and on the left side you have the figures right there which look really cool and then on the right hand side you have the actual figures now i would like i would have liked it if they actually included the top of a chimney it looks like they didn't but you have the figures here with the accessories so let's open them up take a close look and see if this is a pickup or a pass so they don't include a chimney but you the insert here has the snowy background with a chimney there in case you want to use this for photos all right, so we're going to get into the accessories that you get in this set. You get some pretty cool accessories here. So you have the Santa sack. That's what she said. That sounds just wrong. Mwah! So you have this here, and it's blue, you know, material, cloth material. And you can see the little designs on there, and you can open this up. And you can actually display gizmo in there if you wanted to. So you have that, and then you have the string to go to wrap around it to give it that little design. And then you also get a little candy cane, which looks pretty cool. And you get a gizmo figure. Now, this is really awesome. I like it that we get a little miniature version of gizmo. We get a little bit of a close-up here so you guys can see how great he looks. That head sculpt looks awesome. You got the little fur that's sculpted on. His hands look like they're, it's, it almost looks like they're backwards, right? Is it, what is, okay, I think it's just, it almost looks like they're sculpted backwards, but I think it's just the way they're, they're positioned, but they don't, they don't really look right. Are you, this one doesn't at least, I don't know. But uh, the, this a little gizmo looks great. There's the bottom right here. You can see his little feet. He does have a little bit of articulation. You can rotate the head sculpt. It's got, you can go up and down too. The arms just have like a swivel. You can rotate the hands. Nothing at the waist and nothing at the feet for articulation. But the little gizmo figure is adorable. So you get that little guy right here. And then I think the set that really sells this is Stripe. So Stripe is just looks incredible. The Santa hat and beard is removable. So I'll show you that here. Is there a bendy wire in here? I'm not sure if there's a bendy wire in here, but this is very nice material. So you can take it off if you really wanted to. And then we'll show you guys a close up on Stripe himself. So the mouth does have articulation. You can open this up. And then you have the eyes. The sculpting on this is incredible. I mean, you guys know how NECA does their gremlin figure. This is beautiful. You have the Stripe right here on the head sculpt, it's actual cloth material. He's wearing a Santa outfit. This is a separate piece, so I'm assuming the belt is a separate piece too. If you wanted to take this off, you're just gonna pretty much get a full striped figure. Now, I don't know if I own a striped figure. You guys can let me know in the comments below if this is a reused mold or not. Does he have any articulation in the ears? No, he doesn't. You have the hands here. Look how great that looks, very, very creepy. You got the sharp claws. You have his pants here. You can see the Santa pants and the three little toes with the long nails. And then right there at the bottom, he does have peg holes. So we'll go over the articulation really quick on Stripe. So like I said, the mouth does open and close. Oh, let's get a little bit of a close up here. Just to admire the sculpting and detail on this guy. It is just amazing. Um, let me, what's, uh, yeah, it's an actual figure on the bottom. Okay, so the head can rotate. Uh, doesn't it goes up and down not a whole lot the arms kind of go in and out not a whole lot either forward and back he has a bend at the elbow very very little bend the hand can rotate is there a hinge doesn't look like there's a hinge the legs can go in and out not a whole lot they go forward and back again not a whole lot I can't tell if there's a bend at the knee. It kind of feels like there is. There's lower leg rotation. The foot can rotate and it kind of goes up and down. As far as waist goes, he does have rotation at the waist and a slight ab crunch. And then right here on the back, they actually made an opening here. So where you can see his tail. See that? That's pretty cool. So you can actually open this up. I'm not gonna bother ruining this, so I'm gonna leave it as is. But let's go ahead and dress him up here. So it's very easy to apply. You just obviously place it over his head sculpt right here and then we can just, let's see how this looks. We're gonna dress up 
I'm gonna see if I can find the ad too that they're talking about the little promotion that this is supposed to be based off of. Did I put this on right? Yeah, look at that. Look how great this looks when you finally have them fully dressed up. Let me see a picture here. Did I dress them up right? Yeah, it looks like I did. I think I did. This this is just awesome. I don't know how far you're supposed to put this over, over the chin, maybe there. I don't know. It looks great like that. And then, like I said, Gizmo, you can have him holding on to the candy cane just like it has in the photo. Let's see how well he holds it. Yeah, he holds on to pretty good. And then if you want to place him in Santa's bag, you can do that and then just have him hold on to the gremlin or have the gremlin hold on to gizmo. All right, so there is a hinge right there in the hand, so you can get it to go up and down. So he does hold on to the bag very well. And also there is a bendy wire inside of the bag. So I think there's also one inside of Santa's hat. And there you go, guys. There's my quick little review. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new. Again, I think this is a Target exclusive. This is the Gremlins Ultimate Santa Stripe and Gizmo. So you get, obviously, it's really cool because you get two figures in one. You get the miniature little Gizmo there. And this is definitely going to be a figure that you're going to want to get in time for the holidays or as a gift to somebody, whoever is a Gremlins fan. I mean, who's not a Gremlins fan? This is a great set to give somebody for the holidays or just to have him up and display absolutely love this. I'm glad I picked this up. I had said before I wasn't going to pick up any more Gremlin figures. I have a bunch of them in storage and I wasn't going to I wasn't planning on picking one up and then I saw this in store. I opened up the box and I was like I have to get this. This is definitely a piece you need in your collection if you're a Gremlins fan or a completist. It's up to you. But let me know in the comments down below guys, is it a pickup? Is it a pass? Thumbs up the video. We are almost to 100,000 subscribers. I've mentioned this many times. Once we get there, we're going to have tons of giveaways. So let's get to 100K. We'll see you soon, guys. More reviews coming up. More toy handing videos coming up. A lot of good stuff. Later. Don't believe.